Yeah. Hey man, y'all already know where we at, man. Y'all know exactly who it is. Um, it's your host, man, your favorite host, man, Marcos Vegas. We we down here at Next Level Studios at the uh Writers Camp. Yes, sir. Down here at Next Level Studios at the Writers Camp, man, for everybody who um Write songs, rapper, singer, whatever, man, producers or whatever, man. You gotta start coming to these writers count, man. There's plenty of talent up in here and plenty of know-how, man. I'm sitting here with one of my personal favorite underground artists. I gotta let y'all know, man, I had a competition, trash it or pass it song competition. This young man right here is the only person that won so many times that I had to put a new rule in effect. That you cannot win more than twice without coming in to be a judge. <laughs> you can't even submit no more. That's how good he is, man. If y'all don't know, then you won't know, but you need to know. This the, the homie right here, man. Tell him who you is, bro. What's good, y'all? So Dijon Jackson, D-I-J-O-N, J-A-X-N. Um, honestly, man, I appreciate you having me here, man. Uh, trash or to pass it. Honestly, I was just really trying to see what rotated. Like, I record some shit with my homie, and then I'd be like, you know what? Let me see what what the people thinking about or whatever. So I send it in, and ended up winning a few times. So it let me know like what people like. Really got my melody right, got everything cooking. So so now I'm I'm pretty happy to be here, to be honest. Man, I always been impressed with your work, man. From the first track, man. Matter of fact, I still got those three tracks in rotation on my personal playlist as we speak. Sir. Um, so I'm saying you was making the beats too? Nah. So ironically, man, like I was still kind of pulling beats out of YouTube, man. Just like just finding whatever I could, like just typing in some of my favorite artists. Unfortunately, I hate doing that. So I'm looking for producers that's cooking shit that makes sense for me. But um, but yeah, man, I was just finding beats on BeatStars, YouTube, and then I found a few that really spoke to me. Like, I can get a hook, had a nice melody. I was able to tell my story, you know, stuff like that. So, um, but I do got some homies that make beats, but still looking for, you know, even more. I feel like right now we're just like a factory kind of just turning on the switches, man. I, I got a lot coming. I yeah. A lot more energy. Yeah. So definitely looking for something. Yeah, man, I definitely rocks with um, beat stars myself when it, especially beat stars when it comes to the beat. So I know where you coming from on that. So I'm saying most of the time when you writing your songs and stuff like that, what is like the driving motivation or or like inspiration, just from Dijon? Like honestly, for me, like so I work, I do still have my job, so I do invest in myself. My job is my first investor. Okay. So um, honestly, man, when I'm at work. Sometimes I throw on, you know, whatever I'm listening to, mm -hmm. like it, it may inspire me. So um, usually when I'm listening to instrumentals, I'm trying to feel an emotion or like if I'm thinking about bars, the first thing I go for is emotion. Like, how do I feel? How right. I want the people listening to feel. And once I have that down packed and it's all about melody, you know what I'm saying? Like, what can I do that's going to get stuck in people's heads? And see, that's that leads into my next question. How do you know? And this is going to be my last question, bro. Yeah, I, I ain't yeah, trying yeah. to keep you here all night. And I got to <laughs> bring you in for another one on my show. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, now we, um, we got time. We well, got I'm, time. A really, I'm really getting your business on my show. You see uh, what I'm saying? But how sorry. do you know as an artist when you got that perfect melody, that perfect hook? And it's, it's, it's like, how do you know? When do you know? That's a good question. Just you Honestly, personally. Yeah, me personally, like two things. Like one time, I mean, sometimes what I'll do is like I'll I'll listen to the beat, I have the melody, but I won't record it or write it down. Mm -hmm. And then like the next day, if it's still sticking with me, then I'm like, all right, that shit, that's the one I gotta I gotta lay it down. You know what I'm saying? But other times, sometimes what I do is I'll I'll get a melody in my head and then I'll just try to top it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm like, this is fire, but like I'm very competitive and I'm a, my biggest comp competition. So sometimes I'm like, damn, I can do better than that. And I'll top you, it. Have you, my, my bad, I didn't mean to yeah, cut yeah. you off, bro. Have you ever heard somebody else's uh, melody and was like, you know what? That's cold, but I could do it better. I wouldn't say necessarily doing it better, but a lot of my favorite artists are big on melody. Like uh, people I listen to, like Smino, mm -hmm. J. Cole, he, he's not big on melody, but his bars have melody. You know what I'm saying? So I study that. And then like I try to figure out what I can do to where I'm adding that type of flavor to my music. And also like things that pique my interest. I want to make sure I'm implementing that as well, because 
honestly, the reason why I make music is because I like music. I, right. I like creating it and I like listening to it. So like a wise man once said, like, make music that you will listen to. And that's really where I'm at. Man, you know what, man? This, this, we off to a good start with these interviews, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm actually, I'm glad that I got finally got the pleasure to interview you because I was supposed to interview, like, what, a, a little over a year ago? Man, yeah, I be in hiding sometimes, man. If I'm not, if I'm not, this is the only time I'm really out on the scene when I'm rocking with y'all boys. Other than that, I'm really cooking up. Just on behind the scenes, you'll see me drop a content, but, you know, I don't really be outdoors that much. Hey, man, Dijon don't be outside, man. So just for future reference, bro, tell them <laughs> where they can find you at, dog. All right, so D-I-J-O-N-J-A-X-N, one word. You can find me on Spotify, Apple Music, YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, anywhere. Just type that in. You got me. That's D-I-J-O-N-J-A-X-N. And uh, drop a comment. Let me know what you're thinking about my material. Hey, man, I appreciate you coming out, bro. Yes, sir. Always a pleasure, man.